What is it about homeschooling that often evokes so many negative reactions? Are the concerns legitimate, or is homeschooling, depending on the environment, better for some kids? Let's question some homeschooling mothers and then look at the statistical data in order to make an informed opinion. My older son has trouble focusing in a huge class and the academics I felt were the private school, they seemed very rigid. The public school, they just, I didn't feel the math was at the level that it needed to be. Um, a, a big one for us was our faith. We didn't want our children being confused by what they were being taught at home as opposed to what they would be hearing at school. We also had a son that had attention issues and we knew that if he was in public school he probably would have been put on Ritalin and we wanted to handle those att attention issues in a different way. When my husband first told me that I was, we wanted, he wanted me to homeschool, I said, absolutely no way, I can't do that. So we went to a homeschool convention in um, Massachusetts, and I did that for three years before I started homeschooling. When I was getting started, I went to a friend's house who was homeschooling, and she let me sit in front of all of her bookshelves and just look at all of her curriculum, and she answered hundreds of questions that I had. Christine and I have done a co-op together for 10 years, 10 years um, and we take advantage of one another's strengths and weaknesses that way. There are tutorial programs, there are many universities that are offering classes for homeschoolers. We discovered that pretty much any, any organization out there, museums or um, aquarium, they all have programs for homeschoolers. So. Uh, I was excited because they can actually get out and get, have a lot more hands-on experience than kids that are in a regular classroom. One of the things which um, I know they have in every other country in the world, I think, that American schools don't have is um, foreign language in the grammar school. And I think that grammar school is the ideal time to learn foreign language. Each child learns differently, um, and so you can pick curriculum that will work for each individual child so that they can have the best um, success. I think in the public school we tend to um, teach everyone the exact same curriculum in the exact same way. And you can also get a lot more done in a tutoring type setting than you can in a public school classroom setting and so that frees up a lot more time for the children to follow some of their other interests. Every school district has different um, rules overseeing homeschoolers. So you might have one community that um, demands significant amount of information about the homeschooling program um, in order to be approved, and then you have others where you just need to send in a letter of intent at the beginning of the year. My particular town, I put together a portfolio of my children's work rather than doing standardized testing. Some school districts do require standardized testing and then you can either do it individually at your home or you can sign up at your local school to have that done. You can get together in co-op groups and have this someone who um, has been approved to administer the test. Uh, for a homeschool to kids that are going through high school, there's many opportunities for them to advance. They can take um, advanced placement AP courses, and that is um, for dual credit in high school and college. It also, because it's a standardized test for anybody in the country who takes that AP class, um, it shows um, that they can handle, or not handle, depending on the grade that they get, college level work. Not at all. Most homeschooling families um, live on one income, but they're committed to what they do and they make it work. So for example, shop or art lessons or theater, uh, any of those opportunities that we want our children to be able to participate in, we generally have to pay for. So it's generally more difficult for the homeschooling family financially because you want to give your student a well-rounded education but, you know, obviously I'm not equipped to teach them every single subject, 
I do think you, if you want to, though, your kids can participate in any of the sports or activities that they have in the public school because you pay taxes. No, I don't believe that it's an equal education. I think it's far above a public education. And that's why we do what we do. We want to provide them with something better. There are actually organizations that um, plan uh, special trips and projects just for homeschooled kids. Um, so you can go to MIT and take um, special science classes. Um, my boys last year participated in um, a project with uh, the University of New Hampshire where they went out on a marine um, vessel and helped gather scientific information for a marine oceanography project. Last year, we got together with about 10 other students, um, homeschool students, and we did a dissection class. So my fourth grader and my ninth grader dissected four different animals. Socialization is probably the number one question that people who do not understand homeschooling ask. What are you going to do about socialization? Um, for us, sitting in a classroom with 20, 15, 20 kids all your same age isn't really socialization. It's not the real world. Um, so for us, we, we prefer that our children learn how to interact with little children, elderly, adults, and uh, spend time with all age groups of children. There's co-ops, there's tutorial classes, there's field trips, there's play dates. The list goes on and on. So socialization is really probably the least thing that we worry about. Um, my kids were in public school the last two years, and I actually thought I went in to observe a couple of times, and I actually feel that a lot of the socialization in school is negative. Kids who get along very well in a small group will um, gang up when they're in a group of 25 kids and will ostracize and pick on certain kids. Some of the kids are pushed into things that are much too old for them at a very young age, and they're not allowed to be children as long. They're not sitting at a desk from 8 to 3, but we do start early in the morning, and oftentimes we're still going at dinner time. Um, one of the beauties of homeschooling is being able to adjust the school schedule to what fits for your particular family. So if you have like a dad who works later in the day and your children want to see him, they can spend time with him in the morning and, and school later on in the afternoon. Well, my oldest daughter has been sick for over a year and she needs more sleep. So what will happen is she'll sleep it in the morning, I'll start with the other kid. And she does most of her school in the afternoon or evening after dinner. My kids are going to follow a, um, a fairly traditional 9 to 3 schedule. Um, but the nice thing is, is that at, at 3 o'clock I usually teach piano for a couple hours so then they can have their free time and then um, they probably won't have homework so I actually sign them up for a lot more of their extracurricular interests that we'll be doing after dinner like martial arts and rock climbing. that I don't know if everyone thinks about, but um, my kids have had a couple years in school where there was ep epidemics that went through the school. My younger son got strep throat four times. My older son got strep throat three times. Um, and it just goes around and around the school. Once one child brings it in, they can't get rid of it. And so the kids are constantly out of school. Um, strep throat you don't get immune to. You have to keep going on antibiotics, which lowers your immune system. Now that we've heard from four homeschooling mothers, let's see how homeschooling stacks up against the public and private classroom. According to this survey, homeschoolers scored an average of 35% higher than public schoolers on nearly all subjects. Grade point averages and on-time graduation rates are higher as well with homeschoolers. So, is homeschooling for everyone? Well, not everyone is able or even willing to take on such a task. But it appears that for numerous reasons, both statistical and preferential, homeschooling is a viable and valuable means of educating our children. To find out more, please visit the following websites.